Hello, welcome back. Have I ever mentioned that I love this in video games when they give you a, uh, a, uh, music viewer? Because I remember back in the olden days when I had Melee, I remember I booted, uh, one day I had to clean my room, so I booted up Melee and then paused it and then turned it up really loud and just listened to songs that way, I guess. <laughs> Back in the day where we didn't have internet or thing, I don't know. That's really interesting. It kind of reminds me of the underwater theme from the original, the actual song, and uh, that one level in Donkey Kong Country 2. You know that one music track? It was like for that one level. God, it's kind of hard to explain. I could hum it, but you know, like do ba ba da ba ba, you know, something. Like, I don't know. I can't. I can't think. You know, I don't know. There's that one. It had the guys with like the hooks, and they throw the hooks at you, and you had to climb up, and you had to use you had to use like hooks on the level yourself. I mean, they weren't hook hands; they were you were hanging hooks. But you know what I mean. I don't know what I'm talking about. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Here, between this part and next part, if I remember, I'll look it up. I'll tell you the name. I thought Donkey Kong was a skeleton for a second, because of the lighting effects. How did I know there was something back here? Just a puzzle piece. I do like the rain, man. The original Dark Returns didn't have cool effects like this. I don't know why I love that so much. Oh jeez. I'm scared! Terrified, actually, now that you mention it. Oh jeez. Anyway, I like minecart levels. I really just, I, I don't care about the rocket barrel. I really hate the rocket barrel levels. And uh, I think there's a new thing, I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. Anyway, I like the, I really like the minecart levels. Are you sure there's, I feel like there's a way to speed up and slow down if I push left or right. Oh no! But yeah, that this is pretty cool. How uh, you doing this. Also, I don't think they made it, oops, particularly easier, because in the original, if you had two Kongs, then you had two healths for the minecart. I think that's how that worked? Pretty sure that's, that's how that worked. Anyway, I do like that. Are you like, now you're in a raft, and we're in Splash Mountain now, apparently. But yeah, I like that. <laughs> like, you're, you're using, like, the water physics to, like, go under this to get like an end. Well, you have to jump higher to dive deeper. See, that's how it works. And there's something in there. Something in that little house. Oh, God! I love that split instant where I'm like, I'm going to die. There's nothing I could do about it other than just flay around and panic. It's not gonna stop my death at all, but it'll make it look more amusing, I suppose. They're pulling the whole Super Mario Sunshine bonus level here by just giving you a one-up right before a hard part, so then, or like right after a checkpoint, so then you just have basically infinite chances. I think Nintendo games with lives, it's not really like a, oh, I'm gonna run out of lives and I'm gonna lose all my save data or something. It's I think it's just like, how many lives can I finish the, the game with? I mean, I suppose if you're really bad, then you're slightly concerning about lives. But I think in a lot of Nintendo games, lives just kind of, like, get rid of your checkpoint in a level. I don't know. A lot of people complain about, oh, lives are useless. They, no video game should ever use them. But I think lives are fine, whatever. It's not a huge aspect. If there's something useless in the game, then whatever, don't use it. Let it be useless. I don't know. There's nothing to complain about, okay? All I'm trying to say. I like this whole raft ride, raft river ride. I'm scared. Oh, God. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They, like, get built into a minecart or something? I'm scared. How did Donkey survive that? Donkey Kong. It's really weird to say Donkey without saying his actual name. You know... I'm sure Donkey is fine riding around in this minecart. 
Don just calling him Donkey sounds wrong more wrong to me than saying Danky King. Anyway. I got a checkpoint in there somewhere. I don't really notice the pigs jumping out and being like, yeah, you got a checkpoint. God damn it. I forgot about that. The same thing that hurt me last time. Ooh. I'm just ducking as much as possible, man. Ah! <laughs> Track fell apart. These minecart levels are crazy. I like them. I need to stop doing. I need to not do that. I knew that would only have lead to my eventual downfall. I already have 37 lives. I probably had 40 at the beginning of this, but like. I don't think lives are going to be too much of a problem. Unlike the first game, where lives were kind of a bit of a problem. I jumped over that this time. You see that? Dot dot puzzle piece! I'm scared! Gosh, that jump is kind of like... It's really weird, because you're going forward, but you're also like... Jumping to something behind you. It's really disorientating. Okay, I'm done. I'm done doing that now. Although I'm still gonna do it some more. Whoops! Whoops! Invincibility frames for the win. What? I was on that! <laughs> that was weird. Oh yeah, someone <laughs> Nintendo did the best burn the other day. Like people have been kind of hating that Nintendo has been kind of like trying to do memes. I think it's fine. I don't know. It's just like on their Twitter and I think Facebook. I don't know why Nintendo's just like, oh my god, Nintendo's the worst. Stop trying to do memes or something. I don't know. But uh. Something funny that they did say is that they were like doing a Q&A on Twitter with uh, Cranky Kong and uh, someone asked how old are you and uh, he said old enough to when video game when dying in video games meant that you were bad and not uh, cheap or something to that effect. But yeah, I don't know. I think that's funny. Because that's true. A lot of people, whenever they die in a video game, they're like, oh man, that's so cheap. I mean, sometimes it legitimately is, like, a cheap thing, but, I don't know. Maybe it's just how ch people change it, how they view video games. Or maybe we just didn't notice it before because the internet wasn't around. I'm sure people called a lot of deaths in the original Mega Man games cheap. What should I do? So there's red balloons that give me a life. I'm pretty sure. This light, this one I believe grabs me from a pit if I fall down. This one apparently gives me air. This one gives me health. This one gives me invincibility. This one gives me a shield. Yeah, vehicle shields. Guy helps me get a thing. I want more figurines, man. That's what I want. Okay, fine. I'll only buy five. <laughs> Whoa, it rolled doy toy. Penguin tux. God damn it. God damn it. Minecart, yay. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Although I don't like how you can get multiples of the same one. But uh, I think that's pretty cool. Now I can go into my figurines and I can like. What is this? Oh, these are the snow mats. Look at the graphics. This is pretty cool. He's like wet and a penguin. Penguins are pretty cool. And I like this guy. He's funny. So this guy is, is Tux. This guy is Penguin Tux. Don't, don't ask me about that one. But he has a spear. Waldo. Wait, snowmats three? Oh, there's a lot of snowmats apparently. 
Uh, this is apparently in the Kong family. I really wish they had, like, little character descriptions for this. That probably would have not been that hard, but eh, it's cool looking at them anyway. It would just be cool to, like, read about them. Like, the Minecarver is introduced in the original Donkey Kong game, and it is... Helps Donkey Kong do minecart, though. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Donkey Kong can't walk on the minecart tracks. That'd just be crazy. It's silly. Fixing my keyboard. Don't worry about it, bro. Look at how this pretty. It looks so pretty. There's balloons in the background. I think that's part of the level, actually, back there. Do you see that in the upper right? Hello, penguin. Look at that. This is what I was talking about, like, how Donkey Kong feels heavy. How, like, you down, you jump down and, like, this whole thing, like, shifts with his weight. Like, it does a good job of making Donkey Kong, like, feel like a huge, giant ape. I do like, uh, killing enemies with the Kong barrel. Could you do that in the original? I'm not sure. I think you might have. Although, I think you could have had the choice of destroying the barrel just then and there without picking it up, and I think you also had the choice of... I don't know. Let's see, you know what I want to do? I want to turn down the... Game, the sound effects a little bit, like, just not too much, just like a little bit. But I do like the music. Because the music in this game is really good. Like, just from the soundtrack that, uh, that the Japanese website put up and what I played, the soundtrack in this game is pretty decent. It's, like, pretty good. I'm not sure what his name was. It might be, like... I don't know, I have no idea what the guy's name was, but all I know is that he was uh, apparently an original composer of the uh, original series. So that's pretty cool. Can I still get stuff from that guy even though he's disabled? Okay. Can I get more than three health? Is that a thing that I can do? I really don't need to be going to extra effort to get these coins, but eh, they'll help me get figures. If nothing else, they'll help me get figures. I kind of do like that. They're kind of giving the coins an actual use for people like me that don't really need extra help. But uh, if you need the extra help, you basically they basically give you enough coins to uh, do every single level. Just normally fine. Anyway, I like that. You pound, you pound in the thing and then it shoots up. The balloons also kind of remind me of the balloon level, balloon lava level in Donkey Kong Country 2. I was kind of hoping that there'd be like some Donkey Kong Country 2 inspired levels, but like there were a lot of Donkey Kong Country 1 inspired levels in the original, but I'm actually fine with completely original level ideas. Weird, right? Maybe Mario could get that through his goddamn head. The like, ice levels are cool and all, but like, come on! I'm just kidding. Mario's not that bad. Mario 3D World was pretty good at was pretty good at that. It was with actual interesting level ideas. Like they only used the Mario Kart level idea like once. I don't know. Mario 3D World is a good example of a good Mario game, and New Super Mario Brothers U is a good example of a bad Mario game. Kind of interesting how you have to actually physically touch the pig to get the checkpoint. I still prefer the checkpoint barrels and over the pig, because the pig just kind of like, what the hell? Why is this pig helping me? I guess he, they need someone to ask you if you wanted to, hey, you want to do a super level? Without bumping you to the map screen, I guess, I don't know. I actually prefer that, because then it doesn't waste your time by saying, hey, you want to do a soup, you want a, a level to, uh, you want the level to beat itself? Do you want the level to just go beat itself? Is that what you really want? I was assuming that it would just be another thing. They had stuff like this in the original Donkey Kong game, but like, the mini games were more interesting, I think. 
Like, there were many games where you had to pick the right one. There were many, like, where it, like, you had to, like, I don't know, it was like the hat game. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. Like, it shuffles it, and then you have to pick the right one. And then there was also one you had to jump on the crocodile's head a lot. It wasn't just like, hey, get all the bananas. <laughs> I don't know. Autumn Heights, that was the name of that. Uh, that's the name of this world, I think? Or was it, was it the name of the level I was just in? I think it was the name of the world. Yeah, because that one was a, a Alpine Incline. But anyway, next time we'll do uh, Wing Ding. I almost read that as Wing Dong. But uh, we'll do this and then fight the boss, which is probably going to be an owl, seeing as the shape of the mountain. And this level's been heavily owl-based, but you know, whatever. Anyway, yeah, see ya.